what does advocacy mean for your credit union? Advocacy means everything to our credit union. Advocacy is survival and the ability to thrive. Advocacy flat out rocks. Advocacy means everything to our credit union in terms of our ability to serve our members. It's absolutely crucial to our survival. Advocacy is the lifeblood of our credit union. That's what makes us tick. That's what protects us. What advocacy means to the credit union, it's everything. And advocacy to my credit union, California Credit Union, means the world. Advocacy means everything to safe credit union. It's the lifeblood of, of our industry. Advocacy for Desert Valleys is really important in our DNA. Credit union advocacy means just having our voice heard. 2020 will be remembered as one of the most challenging years in credit union history. The League's 2020 legislative agenda had big plans to run a charter update bill in California. CUNA's 2020 Governmental Affairs Conference brought together a record-breaking 5,500 credit union advocates. 70 days into the new year, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. Credit unions stepped in to help our members and communities during the crisis. In late March, the president signed the CARES Act. This created the Paycheck Protection Program as well as gave credit unions flexibility to help their members. Any FDIC institution will be able to do this, any credit union, existing SBA lenders, and FinTech lenders. As a result of advocacy, we were able to participate in uh, helping get uh, critical funding to over 5,000 businesses across the nation and in four U.S. territories, uh, which helps preserve uh, 61,000 jobs uh, across the nation. This is gonna be great uh, for us. It gives us the flexibility to help our members without having those kind of regulatory uh, impacts that deferring payments on a lot of loans would typically have. In mid-May, AB 2501 was introduced in the California State Legislature and proved to be a significant threat to the credit union movement. The League jumped into action and called upon its members to activate their grassroots efforts via Connect for the Cause. In Nevada, the governor signed SB 4, first in the nation legislation, protecting Nevada workers and businesses from frivolous lawsuits related to COVID-19. Weeks after credit unions defeated AB 2501, a similar measure was introduced, AB 1436. The League rallied California credit unions and implemented another grassroots campaign to coincide with lobbying. The credit union voice was heard and a major last minute compromise was reached. Because credit unions did step up, the governor has recognized our difference and our importance in our communities. And we have a new channel of conversation with him and the, the commissioner, Manny Alvarez. The league's advocacy team defeated or amended more than 20 other bills harmful to credit unions. Part of our success this year was defeating AB 2501 and 1436. And we did not do that alone. It happened because of you. Connect for the Cause was amazing. When we asked you to reach out to your elected officials, you tapped your staff, yourself, your board members. And in the end, we had over 21,000 messages that went into uh, through Connect for the Cause that made a huge difference. And that is the reason we were successful. It takes a village and our village came together in a big way. Having a strong pack ensures a strong foundation when it comes to advocacy. I thank all of our PAC contributors, whether it was individual contributions or corporate contributions. That makes a huge difference in getting champions elected. California and Nevada PAC had a record-breaking year. California and Nevada raised more than $450,000 for the state PACs, $135,541 raised towards our federal PAC, and a 90% election success rate backing credit union friendly candidates. You may have heard the, the statement, the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. I believe that this statement fully applies 
to credit unions and the credit union movement. In order to make advocacy effective at the local, state, and federal levels, we have to invest our resources in the Political Action Committee. And the League PAC is an extension of our democratic process and ensures a greater financial future for our members and for our communities. Donating to PAC is one of the easiest ways to get involved in advocacy. Being together in advocacy is incredibly important and in making sure that all our voices are heard. And the way you can do it and the simplest way you can do it is contribute to PAC. If you understand that we have a message that's very important to get out, then you understand why I give and why you should too. We understand that none of us can do this by ourselves. And in fact, the League uh, really is the organization we look to uh, as our chief advocate. The League's PAC had the highest political spending this election cycle. We need to rebuild our coffers to continue educating legislators on credit union issues and to ensure our voice is heard in Sacramento, Carson City, and Washington, D.C. I just want to thank you again for all of the hard work you did. And let's make 2021 even bigger and better.